are looking at the vehicle, not as a vehicle, but as a relationship between human and space. We start with the moving space with the concept of the first space. Okay. The first space is your house. The second space is the work. The third space is the social space. So the first space is something that is super personalized, modular, that you can shape anytime, anyhow, anywhere. to have your space. The platform plus a pod on top. Sitting there, they can do whatever they want to, but it's move. We have a very traditional traditional and also a way of moving the future. It's not just to get people from A to B. It's actually a space for moving. We can do all kinds of things here. I was studying in graduation, we used the name of the company from Vehicle Design. This name has been changed for a few years. In the past year, we have changed it to Intelligent Mobility. You don't need to own a car. You just need to share a car with your car to do what you need to do. Hello, my name is Jason. I'm Jason. What's the biggest challenge for you during designing the moving space? I'm not thinking we are designing a moving space. I'm, I think we are trying to design a complex system. We want to create an environment for our passenger that they can see the landscape, see the view to interact with the world instead of being isolated by our vehicle. I think the duty of a designer is trying to create something affordable, accessible, uh, very easy to use for everyone. So we are moving from an architectural point of view. For that, uh, our products are more like uh, architecture on wheel, more than vehicles. And uh, the moving space and source of a robot bus will fit this, uh, this idea. So when you open the door, you will see uh, two rows of seats facing each other, like, like us and uh, it can fit also eight people or nine because we can also develop or we can add a bench on the other side. We can have more space to show you in our seat panel. It's a flat-panel panel. The width can be free, the width can be free, the width can be free. You don't have to worry about the position of the device. We have the Lungu and Lungu and Lungu. It can be easily reduced to many spaces and can be really useful. 给用户。设计这个 bus 的初衷，其实就是为了让我们的城市生活会有一种呃更加舒适的体验。不想解决的是现在城市交通资源浪费的问题。呃，车辆你几乎可以看到路边停一百辆，但是你仍然打不到车。设想以后你在任何地方想做任何事的时候，城市都能给予你相应的一些呃回响。你的生活会被这个车辆连和社会连接起来，和城市连接起来，你会觉得你是城市的呃一部分。It's not only a product, it's also a service and also an experience and also like you say lifestyle.